What's going on guys? Today we have a huge Panini customer service haul featuring a one of one white box. These are absolutely crazy and very tough to get. They guarantee a one of one autograph of a pretty good player, usually from a pretty good set. So if you guys like these videos, you want to see more, drop a like and subscribe. Helps do a lot more. Press those buttons down below, absolutely free. And the like, sub, comments, enter the monthly giveaway. Starting now is a Crown Royale hobby box. Those have kabooms in them. So that'll be the monthly giveaway. Prism just ended. And after the weekend, and happy holidays to you guys, that's when I'll announce the winner for that one. So stay tuned and best of luck. If that one's over when you see this video, new one should be live. So might be wondering, didn't you just do a very sick mail day? It was the Steph Curry one where we got that crazy autograph in. I did, but they must have either seen that video or I got very lucky because all these and tons more are just kind of flying in, including this. This is crazy. I've gotten one of these before, I think. Just one, and they're very tough to get. Customer service sends these out. And then the equivalent is a black box. And those are only at the national. So I have this and all of these tons of big redemptions, replacements. So yeah, once again, they either saw the video and um, I guess maybe looked into my uh, tickets. A while back, I had a line of communication open and then stopped hearing back. And so uh, it's been a very long time. As you guys know, in that last mail day, I was, I guess I'll say kind of complaining in a way that... Um, the customer service there is very tough to get a hold of. And of course, the people who work there, as I always say, are very nice, but I think it's a pretty small team and you only do so much, but haven't heard back in a while. And out of nowhere, got a response and tons of stuff in. So took a peek in some of these. That's why kind of they're open like that. And um, I don't even remember what's what because so many tickets came in. So in the last one, which was crazy, I think I said that was a small percentage of all the tickets I'm waiting on. This is also not all of them, but a ton are here. So big thank you to Panini's customer service. I don't always have the best things to say, unfortunately. Um, it's never about the people who work there, but just the process in general, I think definitely use some improving, but I've met the people who work there, some of them, and they're very nice people. And especially at the national, I think many people could agree they have excellent customer service and they're very nice. So big shout out to them and thank you. I know you complain a lot, but um, this is awesome and having our response in a long time, but finally got one and it resulted in all these. So here you go, first cards up. Let's see what we got back and I'll discuss everything as we go through them, okay? I know this one actually, it is. Oh, Shen Goon, Rookie Auto, out of focus, gotta love it. This is sick. So most of these will be damage card replacements. And if it didn't have it, you get a comparable card of equal or greater value. So um, yeah, I think, did I have a Shen Goon? I think this is a replacement just for something I didn't have. And obviously I'll take that, he's very good. And um, also some redemption and stuff like that. And then Desmond Bane, they had to have seen the video, right? Desmond Bane on card, contenders auto. So that's the secret, how to get in touch with them. I'm now uh, two for like, 200 in terms of getting a, a response, but I'd rather get the cards in than a response. So big shout out to them. As long as I'm getting the cards back at some point, I am happy. Here we go. Next one up. And the best way I think to get in touch is by phone from what I've heard. I tried it once and it worked, but I haven't tried recently. Here's a redemption. Jalen Johnson to 149. Pen Pals, very good one. I forgot I had this one, but here we go. And I think when I put this in, it was expired. Usually I get points, like half the value in points, but um, this might be the first time I put a redemption in and they, I guess, still had the card and sent me the card. So I'm very happy, especially with uh, Jalen Johnson. He's a very good one to get. So there's that. Next one up. So yeah, what are your experiences with Panini customer service? It's good, bad in the middle. I've talked to some people who said really good. They called, which is why I say that. And then my own experience at the national, very good. When I do get hold of them, or get some tickets for place, obviously good. Getting in contact can be tough though. But um, yeah, every now and then I get tons all at once, usually around the national and then today. Once again, if you guys like these and you want to see more, drop a like and subscribe. I will have a lot more I like this. Ayuk, RPA. Yeah, if I'm correct, most of these were replacements because whatever I sent in, I guess they couldn't replace. And therefore, say I sent in $1,000 in cards. 
they probably were placed somewhere around there, maybe a little more, sometimes a little less, around that range, in other cards. So they had this one, but say I sent in uh, Justin Jefferson, Raider Rookie. If they didn't have that, you get something like this, comparable card. So, and that was not the card I sent in. I don't know what I sent in. I forgot. And, well, Jaden Reed, 220. FOTL, two colors. Two colors. Very nice. FOTL RPA. Let's keep going. I want to open that box so bad. Yeah, so it is a long wait. I'm waiting a very long time on many requests. Still have so many out there. And hopefully more of this to come. All right. Next one's up. It's a gold Will Levis. To 10. And actually, I do remember seeing that. I got like a million emails all at once saying, hey, cards are coming from the automatic system. And I do remember seeing this one, but there was something better than this, which made me forget about it until now. And at some point, we'll see it. And... CD Lamb. Red, white, and blue to... 75. There you go. And Gold Will Love Us. All right. Very nice. Next one up. Let's keep going. Let's see. And if you like any of these cards, except for the Bane, probably... These will all be available in my next whatnot auction at a dollar. Caleb Williams to 99. I don't know if he'll be exclusive with Tops and Fanatics or not. That's going to be interesting to see. He has signed with Panini before, but obviously um, we saw that with Stroud and Young too. So that's very interesting. This could be um, even bigger down the line. So obviously Bowman Yu bought some of him in our past mail days and... Looking pretty good right now. Well, I like that. Kyle Hamilton, NT crossover RPA to 99. All pro, four colors, really good. Very nice. I like that. I definitely like that. There we are. Next one's up. So, pretty much none of these have ever been on the channel. And when I say that, I mean like I pulled that Hamilton damage. Sent it back and got it back like that. These were all just replacements for others I could not replace. Next one up. Jabari Smith Jr. Aurora Case It. I think I pulled this card at one point. Don't know when, but I think I did. One of our maybe big chase videos or... It wasn't the review, was it? I think it was a chase video or something like that. We pulled this card before. Case It Aurora. Jabari Smith. Very nice. Here we go. It's the back. Beautiful art. Court Kings. And Jovich. I love me some Jovich. That is a white to 25, 17 to 25. Very nice card, mosaic. Here we are. All right. Let's keep going. Love what I'm seeing. So, to recap, best ways are call. I would say send emails. In this case, I personally think either got lucky or they just saw this video somehow. The last video it was, the Seth Curry one. And um, yeah, emails, you won't always get a response. I've gotten like two responses in the past a year. And um, from what I believe is they focus more on getting these out because they have a small team than emails, which obviously isn't ideal, but I think we'd all rather have the cards than response in that sense. Because that's why we're reaching out to begin with, to try to get the cards. So in my opinion, as long as we're getting the cards, I'm pretty happy and... Today, we have gotten the cards. Hertz and Mahomes, carbon copy. Are they carbon copies of each other? I thought this set was supposed to be like, I don't know, like similar players. Are they similar? I wouldn't say so. 23, 25. I don't know. It's still cool. Stingley. The 25. All right. 2 plus 4. Help me out, guys. What's 2 plus 4? Next one up. We're getting closer and closer. Next package. And down below, because I historically have not had that much success, the stuff I'm sharing with you guys is a lot of what others have told me. But if you have any recommendations for people down below in the comments, type it out, say, hey, this worked for me, or here's a suggestion to get some support from Panini's customer service, and um, we can help each other out. 
that's really all I have to share because I pretty much got lucky and uh, I also made a video, which isn't a luxury that obviously everyone would have. I'm very fortunate in that regard, but um, I'm not gonna pretend like that's the ideal way. And wow, my secret, you know, to 50, Charles Barkley on card auto. There you go. And even in the past, when I made similar videos, never had this result. So this is the first time that it's actually worked, I guess. Um, yeah. And then Hamza. Okay. This one, I believe, was in replacement of an Oliveira autograph, which I don't know. I kind of would rather have the Oliveira autograph, but to 99, Hamza. I like that. And I think he's fighting Whitaker up next. I'm interested. This one's up. So even back in like 2016, it was tough to get in touch with Panini customer service. And um, team's always been small from my understanding. And they are doing their best, but I think we all agree that if we're in the same situation, it's not that easy. So I'm trying to be as nice as possible because I had met them and they were nice. To 25, Tank Tail. Wish it was Stroud. But that's very nice. Is that meta? I think it's meta from Spectra. Cool. And Levis 99. That is Celestial? I'm reaching. I don't know. It's one of them. Next one up. Let's continue. We're almost to the box. Just one in here. What is this? Oh, okay. Um, This is interesting because it goes with this, actually. And what were the cards? Um, I honestly don't remember, but this is an FOTL J1 Johnson. If this was like a year ago, I'm not happy. Now, I'm extremely happy. So crazy how things change. But 15 and 15, FOTL, 1 and 1, big chunky patch, J1 Johnson, rookie autograph. Very nice RPA. I love that now. And these were connected in a way. They were part of the same kind of email or I guess, uh, not request, but they got fulfilled together. So this came and then I didn't even see it. This was combined with another card, which I do know, to get, um, I guess, these two together. I traded in a card I know and a card I forgot. That's the one I know, the notable one. All right. We continue. Here's a bag. And so, obviously, when you open tons of packs, you will have many damaged cards. I don't send back as many as I used to just because I hadn't heard back in so long that I was losing hope. So, I guess to really put it simply, you could say I took the L. And, um, yeah, I haven't really sent much back. So, here are these ones. Um, and, yeah. But I used to send them all at once. And that's why I have so many. Because quality control was very rough. And, like, every card I pull would be damaged. Even now. Maybe it's gotten, like, 20% better. But most are damaged, I feel like, these days. In breaks and videos, I always say, oh, look, there's a ding. Next one up. Apollo, 1 of 48. Is that a rookie? It is a rookie. Luminance. Nice. I'll be some Apollo. There we go. And next one up. We're getting very close to it. Scoot Henderson to 59. I love Scoot. It's not been a great rookie year for him. But, uh, yeah, and Wemby is really good. And Brandon Miller is really good. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Scoot. I'm with you to the end of the line right now. The uh, sun is not up. 299, Derek Lively Green. There you go. Hoops. I like hoops. Last one before the white box. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. And the only other one I've opened before, I will let you guys know as well, after we do this one, and we actually get to the box. Here's a cool card. I know this one, because it stood out to me on the list. Jaron Jackson Jr. from Encased. I'd be saying, graded. This is from a set where one graded card per box, and uh, I don't think they do that anymore, but pretty much um, they would put... Maybe like a Luca, a Jaren RPA, stuff like that. That'd be your kind of base in the box. And uh, no subgrades, but it's always BGS. And yeah, it's a solid set. Could be better, could be worse. 
But that's a nice one. I like that. I don't have it though, so I'm very happy. I have a parallel version, but not that parallel one. Jaren's always a dub. And here's a great one to save for, I guess, last from the mailers. I know what this is because it's with the Jaren. And I think I traded in another Scotty Auto from you know, Noir, like I'm actually like that, for this one. To 88. On card. Scotty Elegance. Asia. Parallel. RPA. I like this card a lot. Scotty is very good at basketball. And that's probably the best card here, right? It's got to be. Scotty RPA. Definitely top three. Probably top one. And it all depends on what's in here. So let's see. And some crucial information. So these, sometimes, but not all the times, with big cards being damaged, when you get them replaced, you get one of these. But a bunch of them, I have not gotten one of these. And only twice ever have I gotten one. So the only other one of these I opened was an Anthony Edwards rookie, like, um, Silver Screen debut, I think it's called. Noir. And they're all one of ones And what they do is they take sets like Noir, for example, and the leftover copies, they stamp one of one And, um, yeah. They're nice cards. So there's the seal. And what I traded in for this one was a Kevin Garnett uh, Immaculate Patch Autograph. I think it's Nets jersey. If you saw last year's, not this year's, last year's iMac, I think that was the video. KG. So let's see what I got for this one. And um, yeah, so it's random. I don't know how you get these on a consistent basis, but white boxes, black boxes, guarantee a one of one Black boxes are only the national. White boxes are customer service outside the national. So here we go. one of one usually pretty good set of a you know good player as well. And let's take a look. So KG, patch autograph, game worn, nets from iMac turned into this card. And here you go. And if you ever got one of these for yourself, what'd you get? Here we are once again. Like and sub if you want to see more. And like, sub, comment, enter the giveaway. That's Grizzlies colors. That's not Bane, is it? Oh, it's Desmond Bane. Oh, okay. They had to see the video, right? They had to see it. Desmond Bane. One on one white box IMAC RPA. And what's crazy, I have a bunch of parallels of this card, but not the red, which this is. So usually this is red to like 49 or 25, something like that. I think 25. And then the leftover ones, they stamp one of one like this. And so my KG, Nets, KG, patch autograph turned into a one of one Bane, iMac patch autograph. And um, yeah, they had to have seen the video. So hey, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's awesome to get these back. It was a long wait, but they're finally here. What do you guys think? And to put it into comparison... This is probably one of the... I love this card. I'm very happy with what I got. This would be one of the worst white boxes I've ever seen. And that speaks to the volumes of how good these usually are. Like, this is an awesome card, and I am absolutely thumbs up. I've seen, once again, for myself, Ant, I've seen, like, crazy, crazy cards. Um, just really high-end stuff you'll see in these. So when you get one of these, know there's a big card, and I am absolutely, like, pumped to get this one. I mean, that is perfect, because I'm going for, like, three Bane Rainbows, and honestly, I can make the case that this is one of them. Once I find the Logo Man... So if you see the logo man, let me know. But I have like a few of the others, the jersey number, I think a uh, base one and maybe gold. So yeah, there we go. A lot of fun. Little mail day here, actually big mail day. And thank you, Penny Customer Service. I am very appreciative. I know I don't always say the best things, but um, yeah, I don't mean anything personally or, or in a bad way. Just uh, trying to get some cards back and I appreciate you guys taking the time to uh, help me out here. So there you go. Hopefully everyone else can get their cards as well. And uh, once again, hopefully in the comments, you guys can share your experiences. I would say uh, definitely try calling and um, you can try emailing as well. If you go to the national though, definitely wait till then because it'll be worth it. But there you go, guys. Big mail in the books. What was your favorite card here? And uh, share your thoughts, experiences down below. And does it guys close on these two, two big ones. And hopefully there's more to come because we haven't finished yet. I mean, he's, kind of been emailing back and forth every now and then and uh there's still some stuff waiting on so hopefully i have even bigger one coming soon more white boxes and uh in a few months black boxes so definitely stay tuned it's gonna be awesome and does guys thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe until next time i'll see you later